There ain't a man living who can say that he stole cattle for me, but you two mushheads thought... All right, you wanted them so bad, you take them. Take them and get out. Bring them back. No, I'll send them away and that's that. He's a fair cat, ain't he? He's an old tyrant. But you're crazy about him, aren't you? What? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I guess I am. And you're not afraid of him either. The company didn't send me out here to be buffaloed by a loudmouth farmer with a squaw for a wife and a half. You're his little pet. You always were. Now, you know you want something, Horace. What is it? What do you want? I want your son Joe to stay away from my daughter. I don't like this. I don't ask you to like it. I'm just asking you for once in your life to take some advice. Hey. Enough violence connected with Devereaux Ranch, Joe. I don't want any more. Because he stood up to me when the rest of you were afraid to. They don't care about that. They're out to get you. This is a big Eastern company. They don't like people shooting up their property. You didn't get a very good bargain, did you, my little princess? I have never re-rated it. Not all these years, yeah. Well, let me ask you this, Mr. Devereaux. Have you ever, during your years on Devereaux Ranch, had recourse to the properly constituted authorities? Objections? Of... I have needed the authorities I've asked for. Why didn't you ask for them two weeks ago? Because I didn't think I needed them. Why, you... This is to keep Joe out of jail. Sign it. I know all about it. Two Moons has been here. I, I know what they're doing to the old man. They're killing him. What did you do with my mother?